Imagine a car engine after a long drive and the heat coming off of it. All of that heat, all of that energy is being lost to the air. Some estimate that 60%, nearly two-thirds of the energy we use gets wasted as heat. Now, with climate change, finding a way to capture that energy is of vital importance. Thermoelectric materials can do this. When you take these materials and you apply a temperature difference across them, then the electrons want to flow from the hot end to the cold. And this thermally induced electric current can be used to power a circuit, turning heat directly into electricity. Now these are already used. One example is in spacecraft, where they take a lump of something that will be hot for a really long time, like plutonium, attach these thermoelectrics around it, connect some wires, and you have a generator that can be scaled to whatever size and shape you want. And because there's no moving parts, it's exceedingly reliable, which is important because it's quite hard to fix something once you've shot it into space. <laughs> the problem is these materials are not yet efficient enough to be commercially viable. We need to make them better. And so we have to understand how does this effect come about? What causes it? The answer is quantum mechanics. Now to many, quantum mechanics is just some confusing theory, but to a physicist, it's a toolbox. And if we know how the atoms are arranged in our material, then we can use quantum mechanics to calculate exactly how the electrons will flow through it, predicting the size of this effect. And what we found is that when you squeeze these materials and their tens of thousands of atmospheres of pressure, then you can significantly improve their thermal electric properties. And so that's what I do. I start on the atomic scale and predict how to improve the materials of the future. Thank you.